In Mark 4, Jesus begins to teach his followers about soil and farming of all things. The 12 disciples didn't understand why he would talk about something that random, so he explained to him what he was really talking about. See, the soil represents the heart of a person when they hear the gospel. But if we look carefully in verse 13 and 19, Jesus exposes the enemy's process to rob us of the joy of the gospel. Satan uses distraction. He uses our problems, persecutions, the worries of life, the search for wealth, and the desire for earthly things. So we have to ask ourselves, have any of those things captured our attention lately? Do you think about those things more than you focus on God? That is why we worship. Every week we gather together and sing. At Coastline, we choose songs that help us put our thoughts on Christ, not on ourselves, our problems, or things of this world, but on who God is. Then, after expressing this in faith and obedience, our hearts are open for the word to be preached and the Holy Spirit to do what only He can do. Now today, you may feel like your heart is hardened. You may feel hopeless, and you may think it is impossible for even God to reach you, but listen. With God, all things are possible. Jesus said that himself in Matthew 19. You don't have to be stuck in this state of unfruitfulness. Just listen to what David wrote in Psalm 65:11. You crown the year with bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the wilderness become lush pastures and the hillsides blossom with joy. The meadows are clothed with flocks of sheep, and the valleys are carpeted with grain. They all shout and sing for joy.